All right. Um, so let's go over how to graph this by using inequalities, OK? So the main important thing that I want you guys to have, Pedro, is to make sure, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we want to do, which I explained last class period, the first thing you guys got to do to graph these is set them to equations so you can just be graphing equations. Forget about the inequality signs for a second, and let's just graph these two equations. Okay, let's graph these two on, an, on a set of axes and determine what they look like. So the first thing is we have an x or a y and an x-axis. Okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so there's my scale. Okay, when graphing, I'll graph this line first. Remember when graphing, when it's in slope intercept form, the first thing we need to do is find the y-intercept, which is that negative 1. So I go down to negative 1, and I make a nice big dot. Then I write my slope as a fraction. So 2 over 1 is going to tell me to rise 2, go over 1. So I'm going to go up 2 units to the right 1. Up 2 units to the right 1. You could also go down and to the left. So um, I'm not going to graph this yet. All right, because I want to look at this and then say, what is my inequality sign? Since my inequality sign is greater than and not greater than and equal to, I know that this line is going to be dashed instead of solid. However, it's still a line, so we're going to put arrows at the end of it. Then we'll get to, yep. Then let's go and check this line. So to graph this line, now my y intercept is at negative 2. So I go down to negative 2 and I make a dot. However, my slope is now negative 2 over 1. So instead of rising 2 going over 1, I'm now going to down. rise negative 2, which means I'm going to go down 2 to the right 1. So from here, I go down 2 to the right 1. I can also go up 2 to the left. Now I go and look at my inequality signs for this equation, and it's less than or equal to, meaning <coughs> it's going to be a solid line. So the graphs should have looked like this before you got into your shading. Yes? Good point. Um, negative 4 over 2 is equal to what? Mm. Four over negative, four. Four, negative 4 divided by 2, though, reduces down to what? Negative 2. You agree with me? OK, what's 4 divided by negative 2? Negative 2. OK, so what we sometimes just write it as is we just put, since it doesn't matter if the negative sign's on top or bottom, we just kind of write it in front. Do you kind of see how it doesn't matter, whatever way it's going to work? Yeah. OK, so, so now we need to get into the testing stage. So to test, what you guys are going to do is you need to find a point that's not on either line. So Yago, the best point that I always choose that's not on either line is 0, 0. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a nice big point at 0, 0. And I'm going to make this one red. All right? So what we're going to do to test 0, 0 is remember, that's an x and a y coordinate at 0, 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in 0, 0 into each equation. So I have 0 is greater than 2 times 0 minus 1. 0 is greater than negative 1. So for this equation, because this is y is greater than 2x minus 1, for this equation, is 0 greater than negative 1? Yes. True. So I'm going to put a nice big t. So since this line is true for my test point, I'm going to shade towards the red dot, towards the test point. So I'm just going to draw lines. That's all you need to do to show your shading. But you're going to be lines on the lower side. Huh? You're going to shade on the side. I'm just shading on this line. Yeah, but you're going to have to do it for the other Right, too. which we'll see in a second. So now, let's look at the next equation. So we look at the next equation, which is going, or inequality, which is y less than or equal to negative 2x minus 2. I test 0, 0. 0 is less than or equal to negative 2. Is that true or false? 
Is that true or false? I'll get to that in a second. Is 0 less than negative 2? No, that's false. So this line, which is the y equals negative 2x minus 1, I'm sorry, less than or equal to, this one is false. So when it's false, rather than shading this line towards the point, you're going to shade this one away from the point. So then, ladies and gentlemen, all we're going to be concerned about is where do our two regions of shading intersect. And you can obviously see it's where the lines intersect of their shading. So therefore, the region, or our answer, is going to be right there. And you can just kind of erase the rest of these lines as we're not really needing them anymore. So therefore, our answer is going to be this region, which we call the feasible region. All right? So there you go. That's how you graph.